chapter 10, verses 46 to 52. But we will just look at the very first part. And they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude, Bartimaeus, the blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the way, sat by the wayside begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And they rebuked him, but he cried out all the louder, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. This aspect of crying is very important. I think we have a song in the church where you say, you must cry out your word to the, cry out, oops, your voice to the Lord. Jesus also in Matthew's gospel gave crying high prominence. Happy are those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Again in Matthew's gospel he told us, come to me all you who labor and overburdened and I will give you rest. So when we think of crying, it is good and wholesome to go to the Lord and cry out our hearts to him. Because sometimes the pain, the trouble, the, the, the problems are so great we can do nothing but weep and moan and cry. That's how Jesus prayed. He wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. He also wept over Jerusalem in the Garden of Gethsemane. He wept, he cried out, Father, if this is your will, but please, right? So let us be unafraid of weeping, showing that physical emotion, going to the Lord, confident that Jesus knows us, he hears our cries. So let us go to the Lord and cry out with our voice, cry out and say, Master, this pain, whether it's physical, whether it's emotional, whether it's social problems in society is too great. And as we cry out, he gives us a reason for smiling. So tomorrow, please God, we will continue with Mark chapter 10, 46 to 52.